Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm exploring two unique places in Indiana. And I've just arrived at my first destination and it's called the Pioneer Mothers Memorial Forest. And it is one of only three virgin forests left in Indiana, meaning untouched by man, uh, not, not um, cut down for farming or anything like that. And it has a unique history, which I'll get into a little later. But right now, I just wanna take you along on one of Indiana's only three virgin forests. And let's take a look. Okay, so I'm not really sure what I expect to see here. I guess maybe trees with bigger diameter. And there are a few. You can tell they're dying out. Like this one right here, this is a big, big boy, pretty tall. But the pine, the pine tree behind it, right here, is taller than a lot of them. And it's got a bigger diameter to it. So really it's just an excuse to get out today and you know walk around on a beautiful day. So I think one of the first things I noticed is that it is a lot more dense. It's a very dense forest. You know, since we've not touched it, you've got different generations of trees growing around each other. And it looks like there's more types of trees here, more species. Check out this tree right here. You can tell that one's old. Really thick on the trunk and multiple offshoots. Holy crap, look at this one. I think that's a pine. Man, that looks old. We're just gonna go a little bit off trail, not a lot. I'd say it's about four feet in diameter. I mean, not as big as sequoias, but very cool. Okay, since we come to the uh, stone wall for the mem the actual memorial, probably good 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 idea to tell you a little bit of history. Um, it's the last old growth forest of its size in Indiana. The site's been virtually undisturbed since before it was purchased by Joseph Cox in 1816. After being protected by the Cox family for 124 years, when a descendant died in 1940, the land was put up for sale. It was saved from being cut by a timber company due to community effort and the U.S. Forest Service purchasing the land back from the company. Later in 1944, the tract was designated a research natural area along with a 165 acre buffer. The area has managed to protect its unique qualities. The trail is 1.3 miles and the rock wall, which is right here, commemorating the Pioneer Mother's Forest at the bottom of the hill where a day use picnic area once stood. In the bottomland area was also a prehistoric Native American village site. Extensive excavations have been done to study this prehistoric area, which is thought to date AD 1380. So very cool. Look at this one, this gigantic blow down. Yeah, they've not really done much. I mean, they've cut through the path, but everything else is pretty much undisturbed. Look at this one. Here's my hand for reference. Very nice. Wow. 
Yeah, I'm thinking a lightning strike. So, I'm just about to step back out into the parking lot, and I noticed this vine wrapped around this tree. That looks very medieval. Very cool. So, we're almost done with this. I mean, once we get back to the parking lot, which is right there, we just got the road walk back to the truck, and then on to our next destination. to our second destination, Yellow Birch Ravine, and it's quite a treat from what I understand. It's one of the few arches in Indiana. Kentucky has a lot of arches, but and we've got a few, so it's one of the ones that I, I know anyway. So we're going to go check it out. Let's go. Well, we're in kind of a predicament. We've arrived at our second destination, but there is nowhere to park. The parking lot is basically two cars, it's really good enough for two cars. So, debating whether or not to wait for somebody to leave, because I am in a precarious position here on the side of the road. All right, we got us a parking spot. So now we're gonna head over across the street that way. All right, so one of the things we're hoping to see here is we're gonna hike into a box canyon, two of them actually. And we're going to see an arch made by water, a natural arch. One of the only ones in India, and I, I mean, I'm sure there's more, but one of the only ones I know of. So, I'm not sure how long a hike. I don't think it's too much, but I know we'll do, we will be doing a little bit of climbing. So, let's do it. All right, so we're going further into this box canyon. If you don't know what a box canyon is, it's basically a canyon with a dead end or a canyon that has one way in and one way out. So we are just about kind of going to have walls on either side of us here. Here's the end of the canyon. If you see this wet spot right here, that's what she said. Um, when the water's running better, I mean that's a that's a more full um, waterfall. I think there's two of them here. I think that's one of them. And I think there's another one right there. If I'm not mistaken. This place is beautiful though. Okay, a little closer. I'm wrong. The other waterfall is right over there. You can probably hear it if I'll shut up. Let's get closer. All right, I'm gonna try and make my way over to the other waterfall. So I switched to the GoPro. We don't roll an ankle here. Kind of muddy. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's cool. Now we're out of that box canyon that was east from the truck. And now we're gonna turn north to the next one. And I believe the arch is right up here or it's maybe over there, over there somewhere. Well, I reached the end of the canyon. I think it's right up there, but I can't tell. I need to get the drone out. See if I can get up there with it. So that's the next step. Okay, the drone revealed that that is in fact not the arch. So I have to go down and around, I believe. I think I'm just too close to the other box canyon and I didn't go far enough north. So we'll give it another try. If it doesn't work, we'll go home. Okay, this doesn't give me good feelings here. I think this is the last person that tried to find this arch. Folks, we have made it to the arch. Right up there. So now I'm going to fly my little drone through it. Because <laughs> that's why you have a drone.